everybody, this is Green Spirit back with another video today of the YouTube Pagan Challenge 2017. I will be doing questions 9 and 10 and then an additional question from the 2016 challenge. The first question today is your thoughts on divinity. Do you work with particular deities? My thought on divinity is that I think that Although it might not be essential for some workers, um, particular practitioners who are actually more atheistic, they don't necessarily believe in a god, but believe in something, but not necessarily a god. Um, I don't, you know, I think that you don't have to um, worship or work with divinity for practicing magic if you choose not to. However, personally, I have always been very connected to divinity. I see it as something that is essential to my practice and my daily life. Uh, I have a very strong connection with divinity ever since I was a child. Uh, I have always had a faith in a higher power than myself. And I have a very strong connection with the goddess and the god. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, my matron goddess is Our Lady of Guadalupe. And this is who I work with. She, I use the term goddess a lot, but when I'm saying goddess, I am referring specifically to her. Um, I have a really strong soul connection with her. And then as far as a male god... Um, I just say God in general, most, or Lord, but I think if I were to say specifically the God that I'm referring to would be probably Kernunos. Um, I have a, or even the Green Man, uh, just because I have a real connection with the outside world, the outside world of nature. So those are the uh, deities that I work with. Next question is, how did the universe begin? Will it end and does it have purpose? Uh, I believe that a higher power, goddess, god, spirit, whatever you want to call it, uh, did create the universe. Uh, in, I don't separate science uh, separate from divinity. So I do believe that there is a god and a goddess or a power that created, for example, the, the Big Bang that created the universe. So that's how I feel like that it was created. Um, will it end? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's up to them. <laughs> um, I would hope that it wouldn't. I would hope that I think more than likely the Earth um, will end. I mean, I think that's just basic science is that eventually our planet will end just like the sun will go out. Um, but I believe in other worlds and I believe that if we're not here anymore, does not mean that they don't carry on somewhere else? And that, I don't mean that we're going to go out to other planets. I'm just saying that um, I believe there's other worlds and other people and if it's our time, it's our time kind of a thing. I don't dwell too much on it. I dwell more in my present than will the universe or the earth end at some point. So, And then, does it have a purpose? I think souls have a purpose. I think we are all created with a, a certain purpose. Um, I think the purpose is love and to show love and to be uh, aspects of love. I think that we are brought here for a reason, whether we know it in this, these incarnate bodies um, is difficult to say. Um, I think that when we are just souls um, on the other plane of existence or heaven or summerland whatever you want to call it um, we have a much clearer sense of what that purpose is 
but and not necessarily so much when we're in an incarnate body but I do think that we each have an individual purpose and maybe it's just a purpose for this earth alone this world alone uh, maybe not I don't know I do believe what the, that there is a purpose do I know exactly what that purpose is no I do not <laughs> Okay, so those are the two questions, uh, 9 and 10 for the 2017 challenge. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull up, got my computer, the one for the 2016 challenge. Uh, next question on the 2016 challenge was, what is your take on the wheel of the year? So I believe in the wheel of the year um, in general. Uh, when I first started my practice, I was very Wicca based, and so of course you you learn the wheel of the year. I do believe in the seasons, obviously. I do tend to live in areas that do have seasons, which is nice. Um, even if it's just like you get a shot of, you know, springtime, but at least I do experience all the all the seasons. As far as sabbats. I want to say that I'm really great at celebrating each and every Sabbat, but I've never ever been that way. I just, I live a more practical kind of life. If I can squeeze it in, if something, you know, allows me to be able to celebrate, I will gladly celebrate. I don't know, the thing is that when I celebrate like a Sabbat, it might not necessarily be in by creating a ritual. I'm more practical, so I might, you know, uh, for Imolk, I may create some candles for the day, and that's part of my ritual, um, ritual quote. Um, you know, for Beltane, I may, you know, make some flower wreaths and, and put them in my hair or something, you know, make some kind of craft or, or food or, you know, for llamas, I may, you know, bake a, a loaf of bread. And I do things like that. So things that pertain to the holiday, but maybe I may not do a full ritual. Sometimes I do. It just depends. And now that I have a child, I want to make sure that he celebrates certain, you know, seasonal changes, but it's, impractical sometimes to stop whatever I am doing um, to do a full ritual um, sometimes I do like I said a lot of times I wait until everyone's asleep or I do it early in the morning when everyone's out of the house like you know they've gone to school or and, and work it just really depends I'm not a stickler but I do enjoy the sabbats when I do do ritual like full ritual but regardless, I always do mostly something, uh, whether it's creating a craft or a specific meal or something that has to do with the Sabbat. So that's my take on the Wheel of the Year. And next question, what does this time of year mean to you? Well, as I am doing this here pre-spring, um, I... And looking forward to spring there are signs of spring actually I saw a week ago I saw a honeybee and I also like a day later I saw a ladybug and those are harbingers of spring I've seen the first buds of daffodils like the leaves shoots coming out um, and I'm even, I saw robins yesterday, so very spring-like things, but I've been seeing these very springy things, and then, like, we got so much snow one day. <laughs> that's like, just when I'm thinking that spring is, is coming, it, you know, snow falls. You should know, I am not a fan of snow. It's not that I don't like snow. I just don't like what happens after the snow, you know, like ice and, and things like that. I'm not a fan of because I hate driving in it. Um, but this time of year, just it's very comforting to me. 
in the sense that I'm very excited that it will be warm soon and it's like starting fresh and invigorating you know whatever needs to be invigorated from that winter drudgery where you're just kind of feel heavy and even your foods might be heavier and I'm ready for you know nicer brighter greener things so that's what that means to me so those are the questions I'm doing today for the two pagan challenges thank you for watching uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and brightest blessings to you and have a wonderful day. Thanks.